king and the priest is here, Santos Bonacci. What's up, brother? We're live? We are live. Hey, how are you, man? I'm great. Great seeing you, man. Yeah, I had to do this on the telephone. I can't. I couldn't find how to do it on the um, computer, so I'm sorry. Maybe I'll have to go out there for more light. But, hey, uh, you know what, bro? It's all good. Just prop your phone up against the computer. That's what I do. I just prop it up, and it won't move. Figure out how to prop it up. It'll be all good. No worries. Great lighting. So, it hey. Looks, looks very dark to me, man. Uh, a little blurry, not dark, not not to me. I mean, up to you. Whatever, whatever you think, bro. Um, it looks mildly blurry there. You might have a smudge on the front. Yeah, the Earth is definitely flat, hundred percent flat. <laughs> it's not a ball. Promise you that. We're gonna talk about that a little bit. Um, keep these men safe at all costs. Yes, please keep us safe. Keep Santos safe. Um. <laughs> We're going to have some wild comments on here, Santos. I don't know if you read the comments. But anyways, hey, everybody. Welcome. Thanks for your time. Thanks for hopping on. Um, we got the founder of syncretism of the modern age, the modern world here, Santos Bonacci. Going to talk a little bit about some topics that we went over um, in our last live. Number one, that um, pure is fire. You know, to go through the baptism of fire is to purify. Santos is going to share on that. We're going to talk about how humanity doesn't need to take life when we're in, in tune with the seasons. You know, the age of Aquarius, knowing nutrition contrary to just believing in nutrition. Um, things of that nature. We're also going to have a few people on outside of Santos in Santos's team in Perium and share some of their testimonies about how much they are loving the product. We'll get into that here in about 10, 15 minutes for those of you who are waiting to hop on the live. Trident Woman and George. George, if you're watching, bro, text me uh, your username so that I know how to invite you. I know Trident Woman and I know Mario. George, text me your username, brother. Astral pregnancy, that's an interesting question. <laughs> um, and we'll, we'll get you invited on here, bro. Have any meat or copper or magnesium deficiencies? Uh, no, no, we don't have any magnesium or copper deficiencies. You can get all that you need from nature um, for your minerals, 100%. So, Santos, welcome on, bro. Let's kick it off. Yep, thank you. Um, first of all, <laughs> I don't know how long my voice is going to last because <clears throat> I went into town for the festivities. So I've been here for nearly a year, and I've never been to these firecracker parties you know i hear them all the time they in mexico they're always <laughs> freaking like the chinese they're always blowing off firecrackers about some saint or some holy air. okay i've got to work out how to get this phone yeah <laughs> you'll, you'll oh. get it figured out bro just no, yeah i'm not gonna move the computer okay don't touch it <laughs> so i had some friends and they said come on man you never go out and I do. I've been out about, I don't know, a handful of times, but I always come back sick. But anyway, during the festivities, it was really great. It's beautiful. It's, I loved it. But around about 10 o'clock, I just felt the energy change. I didn't feel well. Got into a taxi at about 11, went home. And, and I did. And some of the people that I um, hung out with had the, had the flu. Mm. And so I got home, and the next day, my throat was burning, burning. This is uh, Saturday, so six days ago, and okay. I lost my voice for three days. Okay. Mm. So my voice is coming back. All right, so I don't know how how well I'm going to go. It's all good, bro. Don't need to be perfect. You got wisdom coming at you, regardless. Yeah, bear with me, everyone. Everyone here in San Cristobal, but. Cristobal is sick, especially the children. This is really interesting. And they've all got the same, same thing as me. Sore throat, a little bit of runny nose, a lot of sneezing. Yeah. At a festival time. You know what they do, don't you? They get people there at the festival, and then they get their little drones and just spray a little bit of stuff around. All the chemtrails, and it's the perfect environment for it, right? 
It is, it is. Look, the Indigenous people here have been slaughtered and persecuted. They're still getting persecuted. Yeah. I, I talk to them. They do not like the fact that they are occupied. This is an occupied country. Of course. And it's occupied by foreign interests and investors. And I'm here, hopefully, to give every single Mexican everything, like Zapata, in the Zapatista movement, the original, mm. where he said, we own this land. Yeah. You, corporate government, you need to let us have our land. They murdered him, of course, and then, you know, the corporate government uh, continued. Um, and so it's still happening. You know, and these indigenous people, they're all in the villages around here. They're all in the villages and they're all... Put it this way, they're all very well well aware that they are Indigenous and they've been occupied. Like the Arab, Ab, Aboriginals in Australia, I've met, I've met hundreds of, countless of Aboriginals that are very, very bitter to this day. But they took away the dream time from them. They took away the Tartaria. I mean, Sydney and Melbourne were there for thousands of years already, of course. You know, so... <clears throat> they knew the magnetic energy they lived off of it, et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> so I haven't had a flu. I haven't had anything like this since I came to the Americas. Now, if you followed me since 2011, in Australia, I used to get these every freaking three weeks. Mm. I've got a hundred videos. <clears throat> I've got a hundred videos and shows where I'm talking like this with yeah. congestion. And, and as soon as I left Australia, nothing. When I was living in Masunte in Oaxaca four years ago, my friends were dying of dengue. Mm. The town, everyone was, everyone had dengue. Everyone was flat. And I'm riding around on my motorbike, you know, no mask. You know. And then I go to Puerto Morelos and live there for two and a half years on the Caribbean. <coughs> Never got a flu. I nearly died at the end of 2021, but yeah. never had a sore throat. And just the other day, there it is. Damn. Weird, man. <clears throat> but uh, you got to wonder, what is this? Is it a combination of nanoparticles, technology, uh, directed energy weapons, uh, 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 GI, uh, um, AM, 5G, uh, uh, yeah. AM, AI. <laughs> AI. It's AI, man. 5G, AI, geoparticles, chemtrails, all the above. That's what it is. It's all the above. Thank God you got the best stuff, though. That's right, dude. That's Purium. Hell yeah, baby. See, see, they can attack us. They've been, they've been persecuting me for 15 years with violent, violent directed energy weapons. Um... But they just can't seem to kill me. No. They've That's tried right. the heart attack one, you know, where all these people just die of a heart attack, uh, truthers, and... Yeah. But they were in their 40s and they were healthy. But they just can't kill little old Santos Panachi. <laughs> <laughs> they killed... By the gods, man. They killed... Lee. They killed um, Brandon Lee. They killed um, a lot of other truthers, but they just can't catch up to me yet, can they? Even though they've been trying to for 15 years, man. I've been telling people. It's all documented. Long but live Santos. Long live syncretism. This is enzymes. That's it. Enzyme-rich food. And it's got to be raw. You see, when you eat rotting corpse, you become, you're now, your diet is now based on blood. It's a different f fuel to the human diet, the original human diet. What you're, what you're partaking in is a, is a vampire diet because the children of Cain, the Cainables at the Vatican, they created this doctrine, this teaching that all oh, humans have always eaten meat. No, no. 
before you vampires came, you know, whatever you want to call them, Anunnaki, Khazarians, Hyksos, um, Sabbatians, the Jesuits and the Jewish Mafia, mm. whoever the fuck they are, the Vatican, we know they're all a bunch of pedophiles. And they've put, they've cannibalized. <clears throat> Friends, here it is. Anyone who's eaten flesh, let me tell you something, and you will not escape this truth. You have been cannibalized. How do I know? Okay. They've been putting uh, dead corpses of all the animals, all the animals, they, they get those corpses and they grind them up and everything and they give them to the cows and the sheep and the pigs. So those pigs and those cows, they're getting what's called mad cow disease. And there is no animal in the world that has not been painted or affected by mad cow disease. And what happens is the human ingests that and mad cows. They're all mad. They're zombies. Zombies, no vegan. There will be no vegan zombies. It'll be flesh eating zombies. It'll be the flesh eating zombie apocalypse. This flesh eating has only been around for 150 years or so. In Tartaria, there was no eating and pooing. Mm. They didn't have toilets. <laughs> yeah, we do. We have six toilets with two bedroom homes because everybody's taking a freaking shit because they're eating so much bacon and they're sitting there like pork and a big and fat. I don't know how their toilets don't break, you know, and they're like. <laughs> They've got to wait for the next turd to come out. It's like, oh my god! You've got to flush. You got to do a courtesy flush because otherwise you're smelling freaking rotting corpse. Fuck shit! <laughs> now, now vegan poo. You know it's like it's like this. Rose. <laughs> Rose incense. Very sexy. Highest frequency. Mm, yeah, it's, it's bacon, poo, and farts are not nice. Oof. Spraying the toilet. You're not even pooping at that point. You're you're spraying the toilet. It's, it's spray. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, imagine putting a piece of animal flesh in oh. your human temple. It's like it's like an angel taking a shit, you know. Like, uh, mm. I'm the glorious archangel. I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can do today. Poo. Humans don't eat poo, and rotting corpse is shit. And that's how you look. That's how you get to look like shit <laughs> in your thirties with all your wrinkles. Where do you get them? Are there wrinkle shops where you can buy fucking wrinkles? Because I, I need to get one. I've got to catch up to these bum eaters. Because at 60, I'm just um, not finding any 50-year-olds, anyone beyond 50, that hasn't got a collection of wrinkles. Where is the wrinkle shop? Can you please tell me? Can you get them on Amazon? Mm. Mm. You, you sign up for it. Taxing your kidneys with too much protein, animal protein, that's how it happens. Yeah. Hmm. And you can and you can see the death in their eyes. It's like, what's wrong with your eyes? The you dark know, circles there too, yeah. <laughs> the great Ovid or Tacitus or Virgil said that the windows to the soul is in the eye. Hmm. Correct. And um I look at people and what I see is, is blood guilt in their eyes because automatically, whether you think it's your culture, that, you, that chicken is good for you here, you know, they say, yeah, but we've been eating pork here. When I went to Ecuador in 2013, we, we drove through a town and there was like a hundred pigs being cooked on the spit. And I'm like, drive fast, Johnny, quick, drive fast, man, because it was like, the stench of pork, I was breathing the particles of dead pork. Oh. And 
And when you think that, if you believe that, well, then you can believe anything because it's just impossible that humans could be animal eaters. Otherwise, we would grab a rat and we'd just grab it by the tail and we'd just go nibble, 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 nibble. Go. Burp. Burp. Two things real quick, Santos. Um, number one, last night, Embodiment, Zachariah, you know him, was talking about how buffaloes have been GMO'd to be the cow and how the cow now has 80% of human DNA and we're eating basically humans. If you could talk on that real quick, number one. Number two, this guy, Primal Rap here, says, eat raw meat, blank. That is the primal diet, fire, fire, 100 sign. Is, is raw meat the primal diet, Santos, or is it, is it fruits and vegetables? What, what would uh, be the primal diet? The primal diet for fucking demon motherfucking murderous bastards who need their throats slit. They're called vampires. Humans have all been cannibalized. That's why this deranged moron has not got a fucking clue. The Garden of Eden, fruit. Yeah? There was nothing before that. Yeah. Yeah. And all the other sacred scriptures. The Zoroastrian, the Zendavesta, whatever. Mm. The Colbrin Bible, the, the Nordics. No one of humans ate flesh. Godfrey Higgins, the greatest historian in history, and Gerald Massey, both said that no culture in history, ancient history, ate flesh. The Where did van- you write that at, brother? And Where did Godfrey write that? Huh? Where did Godfrey write that? In the, in the um, Anacalypsis, uh, sorry, the, uh, not the Apocalypsis, it's the Anacalypsis. Hang on, I'll just check it. Okay, no worries. <clears throat> um, um, after this, guys, we're going to have a couple of people come on, share their testimonial about how good they're feeling on Perium. Um, someone's requesting to join Sylvia's Sylvia's requesting to join right now Santos why don't I just have Sylvia on here real quick she can talk about how much she and Mario are loving Perium or unless you found it huh did you find the thing you were looking for it, it was right Anacalypsis Anacalypsis so he says what there well he says that okay I'll get you the quote yeah, please do. We'll, we'll invite you on after, Sylvia. Go ahead. And I'll share, I'll share this on Facebook right now. Um, where's my vegan folder? Of course, I've got a vegan folder because I love animals. You know what I figure? I figure it's better to feed animals than to feed off of animals. Don't you reckon? Mm. It feels good to give. It naturally feels better to give than it does to take life. Guys, not, no baby comes out of the womb trying to take life. They want to give. They want to add value to everyone, not take. What are you going to say, Santos? Yeah, you notice that when you feed your dog or an animal, they love to eat. I wonder why. Would that be because they love to live? Hmm, of course. Maybe they want to live, right? Of course. They want to live. They don't want to die. And she couldn't wait till I got out of bed, so I started throwing balls, and she chased balls all day long. She loved living. I couldn't contemplate sitting in her throat and having a, my dog barbecue and inviting all my friends around. Isn't this delicious? Well, what's, this, what's the difference between a lamb and a dog? No Nothing. difference. They're animals. No difference. They're a human. I'm not talking to vampires here. You can eat what the fuck you want. You can have scat if you want, like they have in Hollywood. They eat each other's shit. They go to the toilet, take a shit. Yeah. And they put it on their on the, the plate of the next in Meryl Street, Madonna. They're Nicole Kidman, Tom Cruise, they're all eating human feces that they all took a shit at and they put it on each other's tables and eat each other's shit. Hey, Anthony, real quick, Santos, before you read that, Anthony, um, 
this other guy. All you guys talking about how much you're, you know, you've gained muscle, you've, you know, lowered your blood pressure, you've gotten rid of these sickness symptoms that you had by getting on the carnivore diet. It wasn't the carnivore diet that got you to gain muscle or lose these sickness symptoms. It is what you gave up that got you to get rid of the symptoms, number one. Number two, yes, of course, adding animal protein, you're going to clog your lymphatic system and add muscle or mass or pounds to your body. Of course you're going to do that. You're going to have a layer of animal fat within your skin when you're consuming animal protein, so it's going to add weight to your body. Of course you're going to do that, but I guarantee you that you could do all of the same things on plants. You don't need meat to get muscle mass. You need testosterone. If you have a high enough testosterone, your testosterone will get into an anabolic state and then turn amino acids into muscle. But if you have low testosterone, bro, your testosterone will never get into an anabolic state. It'll be catabolic, eating your own protein like many people are because they are not in an anabolic state because their testosterone is low. When your testosterone is high, you can turn amino acids into muscle mass. Focus on your testosterone and gut health, not taking life. It feels better to give than it does to take. Meat is acidic, clogs the lymphatic system, period, peace, that's what it is. Santos, go ahead. Yeah, Anna and Kata come from anode and cathode, cathedrals, etc. right? So, right. fire, cat is water. The one is, well, it's more akin to alkaline and the other one to acidity, but anabolic is building up, right? Catabolic. Mm. And that's why honey's so good because it's both. That's you just blew my mind, bro. Can, can, please say that again so that people are getting what you just said between anabolic and catabolic. Please. <laughs> well, well, see, this is what why I have a lot of arguments with. Uh, 307 the is low, bro. Sorry, Santos. 307 is low testosterone. You need above 500, 600 testosterone to have normal testosterone. 307 is low. I'm vegan, I'm raw vegan, I have a 920 total testosterone. I don't eat any meat, any animal products. Sorry, go ahead, Santos. Yeah, I'm gonna check my blood work in a minute. My testosterone's good too. I mean, um, I've got no problems there, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm very, very masculine, but- being Anna and Kata, Anna and Kata. Being a musician and an artist, I've also been in touch with my, with my feminine side. Mm, correct, of course. Yeah, to balance. Since I was a teenager, I've always been fashion conscious. I used to wear the high heel shoes in the 70s. I'd go to school with these six inch freaking heels, you know, walking around with big gollywog. <laughs> you know, I had a big, uh, like an afro freaking dog. Got a Leo rising, baby. That Leo rising coming through. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but I used to wear the coolest clothes and I was a musician. I always wore flowery shirts like Jimmy Page. Um, you know, I dress to what, what suits me because why? Because <clears throat> I can see in the mirror. Well, I can't understand how people put these goofy clothes on and go out and, and I mean, where's your fashion sense? Where's your, anyway. Um, what was it? Match question? all this stuff. Anyways, go ahead, Santos. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to show you um, what Godfrey Higgins said in the Anacalypsis. When I go back, says Higgins in Anacalypsis 2, page 147, to the most remote periods of antiquity, which it which it is possible to penetrate, I find clear and positive evidence of several important facts. First, no animal food was eaten. No animals were sacrificed. Now, 2,000 years, two and a half thousand years before him, Herodotus, the father of history, tells us that the Egyptians subsisted on fruits and vegetables, mm. which they ate Raw, raw. Pliny, raw. Uh, um, sorry, Plinius. Plinius probably um, a 
think he was from um, uh, BCE times as well. So we're, we're talking thousands of years ago. Confirms this statement. Okay, African ancestors ate raw foods. Please, people, um, please don't think that the new, the vegan is the vegan diet is a new age. You are stone motherless stupid. If you if you believe that bullshit education, you you you. I, I don't want you to be stupid. I don't want anyone to be stupid. Here's a post I made yesterday. Don't buy the juice. Here's a post I, I made about ACDC yesterday and um, their attitude and how much they um, they really influenced me. And this is what I did when I was a, a kid. See, um, I just posted this beautiful post about uh, one of my their, their first album, you know, um, it's a long way to the top with the bagpipes. That's my favorite album. But anyway, look at this. In the second song on that album, Rock and Roll Singer, this is what he says. Where you can stick your nine to five living and your collar and tie, you can stick your moral standards because it's all a dirty lie. You can stick your golden handshake and you can stick your silly rules and all the other shit that you teach to kids in school because I ain't no fucking fool. I'm going to be a rock and roll singer. I'm going to be a rock and roll star. That's why I decided that I would leave school two years after that song came out at 14 and a half because I wanted to be a master and a rock and roll star. You're a dropout, Santos. Huh? You're a dropout. You dropped out of school. I fucking left school. You don't <laughs> drop out of school. You leave that fucking shit. You just leave the shit. <laughs> don't drop. You go up. You go up. The you ones... ascend. You ascended out of school is what I should have asked. My bad. <laughs> the ones who drop are the drop kicks that stay there and get their asses inculcated. Cull meaning bum. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. That's okay. But yeah, we le we left school. <clears throat> Santos, real quick, bro. Want to get some of your team on here, share their story, their testimony, real quick about Perium. They keep requesting. Uh, let me let me add them on here. George, you're gonna come on right after Sylvia, okay? So request right after Sylvia, brother. Sylvia should be coming on here now. Accept. Uh, invite. Okay. Hi. Hey. <laughs> oh my god my fire brothers <laughs> so yeah. I, mm -hmm. leo and aries no yeah. i wonder we keep it off so well hey and i and i might have another leo coming into the team the specialist this? of alkalinity sylvia you're a leo i'm an aries okay okay you're okay perfect you don't see that forehead you don't see that of course forehead? i do <laughs> Hey. Yeah. <laughs> so I got my I got my package yesterday, guys. Awesome. I share already with the already with the Ian. Yeah. As you seen, we already recorded uh, some video, and Ian helped me with the uh, 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 products with the description. The funny thing is that I'm also vegan. Luckily, something happened inside of me, and I uh, by myself made that self choice. Hmm. Uh, I think that her camera may have just died. Um, yeah, it says Trident Woman is unable to join. Hey, George or Mario, George or Mario, if either one of you want to request to join, please go ahead. Um, okay. We got Sylvia back, I think. It's, it's loading. Okay, Santos kicked me out. My my Aries brother kicked me out. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, just to just to a uh, uh, long story short, I made that decision uh, uh, five years ago. This is where I came. You know, when you are uh, rising your magnet, your heart magnet, you starting to attract the people, your tribe, right? So I got uh, uh, with Mario. I got with his company. 
Uh, he's also uh, a pure vegan for 15 years. He had introduced me for probably over two and a half years. I've been on a really, really strict diet of drinking water, of getting the uh, minerals, vitamins and everything, what it's needed for me to heal. Because we know the cells reproduct every seven years, our body's changing, et cetera, et cetera. So when I, um, of course, we've been uh, uh, always uh, uh, look up into uh, Santos and uh, when I've seen him talking about the Purium and what kind of uh, protocols he's doing for his health, then I seen you uh, being involved in that too. And I'm like, okay, these guys are vegan. These guys would never put anything that is against their body, against their heart and against their mind. It's all connected all together. So we start looking, I showed Mario, I said, listen, this is, this is really a, a cool thing. So I reached out to Santos and I said, brother, I'm ready to join Perium. So I have started yesterday. I have done my shake and that shake has absolutely everything what we've been using on our daily basics, like oats, like uh, um, uh, uh, quinoa, like that, um, uh, uh, what is that? The grass, uh, wheat grass. Uh, the buckwheat sprout, we sprouting, we do sprouts all the time, yes. And now we have all of this all uh, uh, together in a shake. And uh, uh, plus the supplements about the skin uh, uh, tightening, you know, as we aging, I like that uh, idea of... <laughs> Isaac, okay. Isaac needs a few decades to catch up to me, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> We're all reversing. It. None of us are aging. All of us are getting younger. This is yes. not an age group. This is a younger group. This is what we no, do. No, absolutely. How does the shake taste, uh, Sylvia? How, how'd you like everything? Did you like the shake? You like the apothecary? Santos is drinking exactly what you're telling us about right now. So tell us about it. I absolutely love it. It's, uh, you know, always when it looks green, you expect that tart, you expect that bitterness in mm. the flavor or of course, we don't eat for the flavor. We eat for the energy. Our body needs right. the fuel, and this is our fuel. But if it tastes good, this is only the bonus. But in order to taste good, what I have noticed through my whole journey of uh, uh, vegan and changing, of not eating meat, your bad tastes are changing. So you really appreciate what mm. tastes healthy. Mm. That's Love how it. I feel about it. Love it um do you have mario with you is he in the same room as you he's in the other room so we can reach out the more audience and okay. he has a pretty nice cool, cool, following cool. so if you guys want to jump in and and invited him too it would be awesome sure, sure sure we'll have mario on now sylvia um any final things real quick to say about what you're loving about Purim and everything i absolutely love everything looking forward already spreading the knowledge about it and uh, i'm just grateful and I'm, I'm happy to be in a team with the fire brothers this this is also something very important for me you know because yeah. only fire can get the fire <laughs> <laughs> honestly that's guys all fire signs hey. only fire understands fire it's really a thing it's <laughs> <laughs> well will i will i happen to be the bridge between both of you because i've got Aries, Sun, and Leo rising. Now, here's another special thing I have with those two signs. Mars is in Leo, five degrees, which is the degree of the king. It's one of these very, very fortunate degrees. So I've got Mars in five degrees Leo. Look it up. You'll see. Wow. It's like it's the kick assist degree along the ecliptic. Oh, now, really? Oh, there's something new you're saying. <laughs> Okay, so it's making a perfect trine with my son in Aries at three degrees. Love so it. It's a three degree orb. Okay, so now this is called. Yeah, that's true. That's, I just looked it up. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> this is called, in astrology, it's called a reciprocation because the sun is in the domicile of. Oh, wow. Of Mars, Aries. Right. But. Mars is in the domicile of the sun, of the sun Leo, yeah. in my chart. So both rulers, the ruler of Aries, Mars, and the ruler of the sun, Leo, have swapped spots. That is magic. 
and especially when it's fire. That's where my intuition comes from. If you've got a trine from the sun to Mars in Aries and Leo, the cerebrum and the heart, if you've got that trine, you have intuition. All the fire signs are masters of intuition. The water signs, they're psychic. <clears throat> oh, the water is coming. Yeah, they're psychic. They're more psychic. Whereas um, the, um, the air signs, they, they're good with clairvoyance as well. Spirituality. But the fire sign is the mystic. I feel that the fire is that transformation. Many people take us as, oh, why you have to destroy things? We don't destroy things. We build new. We transform fully. And this is why it's also great with the Purium, because it's a perfect transformation for the people, right? So they can change the taste. They can change the, basically the life. And all what you said about being mystic, being transformative, being this, this comes also with the diet because you are getting connected to the source. That's it. That's it right there. Real quick, I'm going to read this. The fifth degree of any planet is the most widely known degree of any sign or planet and carries the energy of Leo. Stojanovic believed this degree is connected to creating your own kingdom, creativity, and self-expression, having fun, being a king or queen, Leader, being on stage, self-confidence and pride. Guys, when you know astrology, you know why people carry themselves the way they do. Santos literally just broke down to us how he has Mars in the fifth degree in Leo, and that's what gives you King Leo type energy. He has it there in Leo. That's why he carries himself the way he does. I love it. <laughs> it's just I natural. It. It's our nature. Your sign is your nature. Then what you do with that nature is entirely up to you. Um, and and Go just ahead. to prove just to prove on the end why we're getting along so well it's because i'm an aries my mother is a leo my son is a leo my best friend is a leo so like i said i've been always <laughs> with the fire and the air um Love but um just like i said the water is coming mario is a pure uh, uh, a tsunami a cancer sign so uh, good luck Love with it. this one <laughs> let's get on mario <laughs> hey appreciate you sylvia we'll have you on next time okay Thank you guys very much. Thank you. Stay safe. Just accepted you, Mario. Um, okay, accept again. George, right after Mario, bro. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> In the main... I'll just show you, I'll show you some images. Please do, go ahead. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, McDonald's. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, <laughs> McDonald's. Human. Human, oh. oh I love a bit of leg. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, yummy. Natural flavor. Yeah, go vegan <clears throat> or I'll use the expression perish in eternal damnation. Does it mean what you think, <coughs> what you've been taught in school, in um, church? Perishing in eternal damnation means that you do not ascend. 100%. That's it. So you're perishing in your ignorance and you're dying and rebuilt rebirthing and dying and pooing and eating and pooing and eating and working so that you can buy more food to do more poo and then going back to work to get more food to do more poo so are you saying santos that eternal damnation isn't us going into this hell-like place and being burned by fire forever but contrary to that we're just staying in the cycle here and not ascending is that what you're saying this, this is, in effect, on, on one level, he, hell is here. On one level, it's here. Level. There are three states here. There are, there's purgatory and there's heaven and there's hell. <clears throat> it's your choice where you want to live. I'm trying to accept Mario. Mario, I don't know why it's giving me troubles, bro. Um... <clears throat> 
George, go ahead and, ex and send a request as well, bro. Maybe it'll uh, let you on. I don't know why it's not letting um, Mario on. And Amter Co. Guitar Works, I, I don't know who you are. So if we don't know who you are, we're not accepting you to join. To join. Um, George just accepted you, brother. Divine, we see you here, bro. We got to do a live together, the three of us. All, you, me, Santos, Zach, all of us, we got to do um, a collaboration together. That's going to happen soon. ASAP. I accepted you, George. Let me, okay. GPR. <coughs> One sec, guys. George, it's not, I'm trying to look you up, man. It's not even letting me look you up. Um, oh, George, there we are. Hey. Sweet. What's up, man? You got me? Yeah, we're right here. <laughs> Dude, finally, uh, finally nice to talk to you face to face. Thanks so much for coming on, brother. Appreciate yeah, you making sorry, time, I'm, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm driving right now. Uh, apologies for that, but I'm fully engaged with you guys. Don't worry. Awesome, awesome. George, you have an amazing story with Perium. Real quick, how long have you been following Santos, number one? Number two, when did you pull the trigger on Perium? Number three, how's it making you feel? We won't take too much of your time so you can focus on driving. Yeah, for sure, and I want to let you guys do your thing, too. So uh santos i've been following hey santos what's going on man <laughs> i've been following you since uh the youtube days the old school youtube days um and then i didn't even know you were on instagram until a buddy of mine sent me your profile and then i followed you on instagram and so i was catching up with you on instagram because i hadn't seen you on youtube in a while um and so which for obvious reasons right they, they shut you down on there constantly um but anyways, I, uh, I saw your post about Perium and uh, right then it was interesting. The time, So I don't believe in coincidences. I believe everything happens for a reason. Um, and so I had just gone through a three day sickness. Um, I, for what I can only describe as like an energy attack. Um, it felt really weird uh, from my opinion. It, it wasn't like anything I had ever experienced. I even tested myself, I didn't have a fever. I didn't have any of that, but I had, uh, I had weird like symptoms kind of like, uh, just put me in a bed for three days. I couldn't yeah. move. And, yeah. uh, and when that happened, I lost 20 pounds in three days. Um, it was, it was wild. And so I know, you know, about these types of attacks. Um, it was the first time I'd ever experienced anything like that in my life. And, um, I truly believe I'm conspiracy minded, I guess you could say for people that don't know the truth about things. Um, but I truly believe that is because of the information I was spreading and the things I was talking about and what I was, you know, sharing with my friends and family and things like that, that I, that I was just attacked. Uh, I can't, I don't know how else to explain it, but I lost 20 pounds in three days. Nothing like that had ever happened to me before. I'm, I've been vegan for five years, so I've been super healthy. I'm pr predominantly raw vegan. So 80% raw vegan for the most part. Um, and then, uh, and then, then this attack happened. And so it just kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, some of it, I believe was due to glyphosate poisoning. Uh, I have to have had a debilitating arm acne, um, and, and different types of eczema that would just pop up from time to time. I believe a lot of that goes into vaccines too, but we won't talk about that right now. Um, now, uh, now of course I didn't get El, El Jabo, but when it comes to the, uh, glyphosate, I was eating vegan. I was eating vegan uh, for five years. And the problem is, is that vegans think just because you're eating vegan, you're eating healthy. That's not true. Um, you go to the grocery store, you go to Whole Foods or any of these supermarkets, you shouldn't go to those, but you go to any of those and you buy vegetables from there, even if they're labeled organic, organic vegetables have the FDA approves up to 26 different types of organic pesticides. They can spray onto USDA organic vegetables. And so if you're not growing your own vegetables, glyphosate 
And so I was eating glyphosate, even though I thought I was eating organic, pure vegetables. And um, being vegan for four years, I was just had a toxic amount of glyphosate in my system. And so uh, I knew I needed to tackle the glyphosate problem. I knew I needed to do something about my health because I just lost 20 pounds in three days. I mean, that's dramatic. And prior to that, Santos is bringing up poo, so I feel comfortable talking about it. I had uh, I had three straight months of not no solid poo. And so that's a problem, right? And so that's your body telling you something's up. And I didn't know what it was because I was eating raw, raw vegan. I was eating healthy. I was like, what's going on? It's can't, I mean, maybe I'm just imagining it. And then I had the breakdown. After the breakdown, I saw your uh, Instagram, Santos, where you were talking about Purium products. And I was looking for Shake products. I actually had a dream. This is going to sound interesting to some people, but you guys will get it. I actually had a dream and, and I was given a vision in a dream that I needed to eat shakes and I needed to transition over to shakes and, and doing that because of the digestion and not having to use my stomach and my uh, all my energy for digesting foods all the time. Because when you're on a vegan diet and you're trying to gain muscle, uh, it's, sometimes it's hard to put on weight. Um, and I was trying to put weight on and so I was eating a lot and the, that digestion was creating a lot of uh, loss of energy in my body. And so I had a dream that I needed to eat more shakes. I, I wrote it in my dream journal two years ago, and I just hadn't found anything with the integrity that Purium has. Nothing. Not, not one thing on the market could I find with the integrity of Purium, so I wasn't going to put any of that crap into my body. And um, it wasn't until I saw your Instagram uh, about Purium and how it had changed your life, Santos, and how it had brought you back from the parasitic infection that you had and the other problems that you were facing in your own personal life. And I trusted you as a truther in the research that you've done through things like that. I trusted you. I knew I wanted to just jump in with the products right away and then do the research. And so I went ahead and did the ULT, the Ultimate Lifestyle Transformation. Um, and, and, and Isaac knows about that. Um, that's actually after I made the purchase, that's how I ended up getting connected in with Isaac and Ian and all the guys over at Purium. Um, but it wasn't until I did that ultimate lifestyle transformation that I really realized the benefits of what Purium has to offer. So in the first 10 days, my arm acne, completely gone, gone, completely gone. 10 days. I got no arm acne. All my glyphosate poisoning was cleaned up in 10 days. You guys think I'm making that up? It's not true. I mean, I've got pictures. I've got pictures to prove it. And I'm, one day I'll share my story and I'll get on and I'll shout it from the rooftops and I'll put it all over social media, all the pictures and of the transformation and all that. But I got rid of the arm acne in 10 days. For me, I was sold right there. Then I started digging into the processes and I realized that everything is wind processed. It's grown in virgin soil. Um, and so when you're drinking Purium products, you're actually drinking live foods. And so that's huge, right? But I knew I had to jump in right away without doing the research because I had just lost 20 pounds and I was, I was going downhill. And so I needed something that was going to save me. Purium did that, saved me, guys. And so um, I owe a lot to Purium for my current health state. You guys, Isaac has seen my most recent order um, of Purium. So I'm a little intense. I'm a Sagittarius. I'm a fire sign. You guys, you guys know, a uh, fellow fire sign here, uh, full-blown Sag. I was born under Mercury retrograde and four other planets were in me retrograde when I was born too. So I've got some interesting stuff. I'd like you guys to read my chart sometime and, uh, and tell me what's going on there. But, uh, but, but what was cool to me is that, uh, um, after I got on the period products and after I saw the transformation, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go all in. I'm going to go all in on Purium because I already noticed the effects in my own life and I, with the ultimate lifestyle transformation. So I went all in. Isaac can attest to this. I bought like 26 Purium products, something crazy. Um, I, I, as Santos, I think you've seen it. <laughs> I think you've seen what I bought. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dude, I've done that about 10 times. I bought a truckload of it of Purium. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> make yeah, so you've... You've seen what I you've seen what I my most recent regimen I'm on, and so my goal was to put on put on the weight I lost. I lost 20 pounds. I wanted to put it back on, solid muscle. And so, in the past, I've been on Purium for two months. In my second month, with all the new products that I added, I added 15 pounds of lean muscle within the first within the first two weeks, guys. Within the first two weeks of using the Purium products, 
of, of going the all in and using, I mean, I bought $1,600 worth of products. I went all in. And uh, when I did, and I still was eating two meals a day in conjunction with the Purium products. But whenever I did that, my uh, I put on 15 pounds in, in two weeks. And I've never been able to do that before. I have a high metabolism. I have half a thyroid from a surgery when I was younger, which made the re which made my uh, thyroid, the remaining half of my thyroid uh, overactive. Wow. So it's always been really, always been really hard for me to put on weight. And, uh, and, and you guys with higher metabolism and Santos, I think you fall into this category, most likely the high metabolism category. Um, it's hard to put on weight. It's hard to put on weight. And so these super amigos, super amigos, I've taken 22 of those a day. You're breaking uh, up a little bit, brother. That's right. Try, to, try to get yourself paused, George. You're breaking up real bad. Can you, can you, you got me now? Uh, a little better. All right, hold on. Let me go. Let me get out of here. Hold on one second. Okay. Yeah, you're talking about an important part. I want to make sure everyone hears you clearly. <laughs> yeah, let me know when you can hear me clear and I'll stop. You're good. We can hear you clearly. Perfect now. All right, I'm going to stop right here. Okay, so I got my dog with me. If you see nice. him pop into the screen. Um, all right, yeah, so what I was saying is that, uh, the super aminos, the super aminos. Um, I, I, when I started the ULT transformation, I did everything by the book, five super aminos a day, uh, 10, I think I was doing 10. Then I upped it to 10, five to 10 is what it says on the, on the label and all that. But when you have super fast metabolism, like me, you need more. And so I realized that I needed to up my dosage. And so when I went in, I had started, now I'm taking 22 super aminos a day. I stack that in with the dark berry protein, uh, which helps with the collagen and stuff like that. I mean, I feel like for 38, I look pretty good. Um, and, and a lot of this glow that I've gotten back, and Ian is, I think I saw Ian on this call, he'll tell you, yeah. is from the, uh, is from Perium because when I lost the 20 pounds, I, I, my, I, my, my dark circles in my eyes were crazy, like debilitating arm acne. I was a shell of myself. And so I feel like I've gained it all back. And then some, I feel 10 times better than I was as a vegan prior to Perium as I am now using Perium products. And so Perium products, the super aminos have been huge to putting on muscle for me. Um, and so I stacked that in with the dark berry protein, the MVP sport, I use the super shakes. I also use the meal replacer. Um, and and I, I do five shakes a day now. So I do five shakes a day, but I still eat two meals. So I do two wow. meals with the five shakes and uh, I put on 15 pounds in two weeks. And um, it's, I, I owe a lot of where I'm at right now because of Purium. And I would have never seen it if it hadn't have been for the coincidence of seeing uh, Santos on his Instagram at just the right time, right when I needed it. And, um, and so I, 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 I owe that. I, I chalk that up to God. Uh, I think that's God right there. That is, uh, that's, that's something higher than us. That's a higher power working through us, working through you guys uh, to put that, you know, to help put that into me. And, and then now for me to be able to go out and spread that message and to spread that story to help others uh because i've seen the dramatic changes it's had in my own life so if you have any questions you want to ask me isaac i know i've been rambling um i'll, I'll, I'll let you take over from here but i just wanted to share with everybody on here how important purium has been to my transformation even five years as a vegan i needed these products and i just didn't know it that's amazing that's um th that is you just said the most important part right there bro five years as a vegan you needed these products and you didn't know it here's the thing honestly george i believe that you had this vision about getting on shakes because your intuition was telling you bro your higher self was telling you that you need a liquid diet why because when you're, when anyone is in the hospital when they're on the hospital bed so often they put them on a liquid diet because the metabolic fire within their system has slowed down why because they're backed up so the body needs a break to digest and process all the stuff that's stuck in your digestive system while you are on um, a liquid diet. And that liquid diet will help will help you produce enzymes to break down undigested proteins in your lymphatic system within your colon all over the place. So it's really amazing that you tapped into that intuition to hop on the liquid diet, not only a liquid diet, but also enzyme rich liquid diet. George, real quick, Share with everyone what your favorites are 
Number one. Number two, what Cleansar and Biomedic has done within you that you think. Cleansar and Biomedic. And then, uh, yeah, just what your favorites are and, and uh, what Cleansar and Biomedic are. Share that with everyone. I'm going to use a restroom really quick, guys. I'll be right back. George, go ahead. All right, you got it. Um, so I started with uh, the, the ULT, the Ultimate Lifestyle Transformation, which comes with the Super Cleansar and uh, the Biomedic. Uh, those, the Biomedic is the product that gets rid of the glyphosate. That's what cleared up my arm acne in 10 days, and my eczema has gone. It hasn't ever returned. Even when I go off the diet, like I was just in Breckenridge, Colorado skiing, and I, and I took my shakes with me, but you can't, I mean, I'm going to eat meals out with my family while we're out. And so, you know, when those meals is likely glyphosate, it never popped back up. I never had to, I never had the acne pop back up. The, the bumps on my arms have never come back since I started to use the Biomedic. Um, that product will keep glyphosate out of your system. The best part about it is, is if you don't want to change your diet up and you want to keep eating Burger King for the rest of your life, you can do that with Biomedic and it'll keep detoxing the glyphosate out of your system. I don't recommend it. As Santos said, you're a vampire if you're doing that. Um, but it's, it, it, it will. It'll keep, it'll keep the glyphosate out of your system even as you eat glyphosate. Um, but Biomedic was huge for me uh, because I needed to get rid of the arm acne. I mean, it was debilitating. It was everywhere on my arms, uh, little pus balls everywhere uh, from the food I was eating, even though I was on a raw vegan diet. And then the Super Cleanse R helped me pass parasites. Uh, and I saw the parasites. And so if you're like me and you take Super Cleanse R, or if you're like Santos, probably you'll, you'll look and, and inspect to see if the parasites are coming out and they will. Um, it works. And so I know Santos, I saw your story where you shared the, uh, your blood work and you shared how you went and got tested with your blood work and they were gone. Um, and so for me, I didn't need to go get blood work after seeing your testimony and then seeing the actual parasites come out of my body. I knew it was working. So I don't need to go get my blood work tested. So for me, I would say the two most important products for every human being on the planet, Biomedic and Super Cleanse are. If you don't do anything else, at least do those two. Because yeah. you can, like I said, you can keep eating your Burger King, your shit Donald's, whatever other crap food you want to eat. You can keep eating that and take the Biomedic and keep detoxing the glyphosate out of your system. It's not recommended. You know, you should clean up your diet too because it'll do wonders in your life. But you can keep your same shitty diet with the Biomedic and not have glyphosate in your system. That's how powerful it is. Um, and then the Super Cleanse are. You got to get parasites out of your system. It's crazy to me that we're the only country in the world that doesn't detox for parasites. U.S. USA, they just don't. I mean, when I when I told my family about it, they were like, "Parasite detox? What? People do that?" I'm like, yeah. So you know, everyone in my family, even the, my 89 year old grandma, doesn't is never detoxed for parasites. And so you know, it's it, other countries in the world. Uh, they'll, you guys have talked about this before. They'll do it every six months, at least once every once every six months. People are accustomed to detoxing parasites out of their system. You can't avoid it, even if you're on an all perium diet. And like like I said, I just came back from vacation. I'm eating foods on vacation that is not in my perium diet. Those foods likely have parasites, glyphosate, things like that in it. You cannot avoid it. And so it is so important to keep these, these products, Biomedic and Super Cleanse R, in your system. Now, if you want to step your game up and you want to put on lean muscle and you want to get your glow back and you want to, like, start living your best life, then you add in the other Perium products. But at the very least, you need to be on those two. If you really want to take back control of your system, like Santos said on a previous uh, uh, Instagram live, he said, if you want to take back your life from the parasites, <laughs> if you want to be in control – um, then you got to do it. You just got to do it. And so for me, it's like, I'm, I'm more interested in the well-being of all of those that I love and those people around me. And so I'm telling everyone I know that you got to at least do these products. I don't care if you buy any other period products, these two will change your life. They did mine. So that's it. I can't hear you, Isaac. <laughs> Sorry. Got the hey, everybody. Last live got cut off. We were on there for a good hour and 17 minutes, I believe it was. We had George come on, share his story. Sylvia came on and shared her story. Santos was talking to us. Santos is going to hop on again here right now.
Mario, go ahead and hop on, brother. Go, go ahead and send an invite to join Mario. We will get you added on here too, bro. Guys, I don't know what happened. I don't know. I, my phone didn't die. Santos's phone didn't die. No one's phone died. Don't know what happened. They just ended the live. Maybe they're attacking George again. I don't know. <laughs> um, but uh, Mario, whenever Mario, whenever you're on here, bro, go ahead and request to join. Um, until then, oh, wait, is this Mario? Nope. That's don't guys. If I don't know you, if we don't know your username, I'm not adding you. Yeah, don't know who you are. These people requesting to join. Um, Santos, yep. bro, you were talking about the Egyptian diet, and you mentioned how they were basically a vegetarian uh, society. What were they consuming? What was that green that they were consuming most often? Well, that was prados, um, wheatgrass, <clears throat> wheatgrass. That's the only good thing which which good for. If it's not sprouted, <laughs> if you're eating pasta, for instance, and bread, you're eating dead grain. It's dead. Mm. There's no life in grains mm. unless it's sprouted and it becomes green. Mm. Because now the sun has put its vitamins in there, and you're eating those fresh sprouts. Wow. Yeah, and the wheatgrass is in the power shake, and you're drinking that right now. Yeah, it's like nuts. If you don't soak your nuts before you eat them, you're only getting 10% of the value of the nut. All the rest mm -hmm. goes through the toilet. So when you sprout uh, almonds, walnuts, whatever, um, you're getting pretty much 90%. Because, yeah, because the nuts, um, well, they're seeds, right? So... When they fall to the ground, they dry, they dry up, and then rain comes and they start growing with the water. So we've got these dry dry almonds. Everyone's got almonds and walnuts in their home, right? And then they grab they grab a whole bunch and eat them. Well, they're just clogging up their digestion because they, the nuts are dead. You've got to bring them back to life with water. Love it. The water brings them back to life. It's successful people, guys, if you want to go vegan, in all things in life, in all things in life, successful people don't just do certain things. They do things a certain way. So it's not just going vegan. It's not just having fruits and vegetables. It's having fruits and vegetables a certain way. If your body cannot process these grains, these chickpeas, these vegetables, what should you do? You should ferment them. You should sprout them. Get rid of the phytic acid peel the peel on the chickpea that has the phytic acid within it that's causing you to fart. Yeah. That's why you're farting when you're having chickpeas because you're not getting rid of the phytic acid. And you're only getting about 10% of the nutrition that Santos just now broke down. But when you sprout it, get the nutrition back into it via water, right? It activates it again. And then you remove that peel. You're getting rid of the phytic acid that is giving you troubles within your digestive system all of our ancestors they didn't not process foods they processed foods they had processed food it's not about not having processed foods it's about ha not having ultra processed foods beyond burger impossible the bullshit and processing your foods properly soaking them fermenting them sprouting them this is how you live an organic, whole food, plant-based lifestyle and thrive and get the most out of your nutrition using your highest mind. Because when you're using your highest mind, right, you are thinking like the divine. You are, you are, you are using your divine mind. But when you're using your carnal mind, you're thinking, oh, I'm only hungry and horny. When you're in your carnal mind, you're only thinking of the now. You're not thinking of uh, the future at all. When you're in your carnal mind, you're running late. When you're in your carnal mind, you're not planning you're not protecting, you're not watering, you're not loving, you're not harvesting, and you're not storing. So what are you doing? You're going and killing because you didn't do any of the above. That's the carnal mind. When you're in your higher mind, you're planting. You're, you're sowing a seed for the future. You're protecting that seed. You're making sure that seed has water. You're loving that seed. You're, you're seeing that you're going to harvest that seed in 90 days and it's going to be worth it. All your hard work is going to be worth it. This, this is using your higher mind. Um, Sa Santos, I don't know what's going on with Mario, if he's going to be able to join us or not. Sylvia, I don't know if Sylvia's still watching or not. Guys, we're going to have one more person on.
Uh, Illumination bought a badge. Awesome. Don't know what that means. <laughs> we'll find out afterwards, I guess. Um, but uh, Santos, do you have anything else that you just want to share? The topics that we talked about um, before going live together or just anything on your heart, bro? Talking about going over to Rumble, anything. Yeah, yeah. So it looks like Instagram and Rumble is going to be the way I'm going to go. Although Odyssey is probably the best channel because it has copied everything. It has copied what? Everything that I've got that I had on my YouTube channel and the dates. So in Rumble, everything, there's no dates. So you don't know when I did the video. Right. Odyssey, go to Mr. Astro Theology and Odyssey. It's got all my videos dated okay. and, and in order of time, right? Whereas BitChute and Rumble haven't. But Rumble is where I've got more subscribers. I've got 2,000. Whereas there's only 500 in Instagram, uh, in Numb. Um, Odyssey and I don't know 800 in um, BitChute because I never I never pushed it you know I've had I've had right. them a year and a half <clears throat> knowing that my ultimate plan was to say goodbye to YouTube um, please don't anyone think that I regret that YouTube that I got rid of YouTube YouTube didn't get rid of me okay watch what I've been doing for the last two months and you can ask Nick and Crystal downstairs. They'll remember when I spoke to them and I said, I'm doing this deliberately, guys. I'm going to get myself demonetized first because <clears throat> I don't want their blood bed of all money. And then I'm going to get my channel shut down. I got up to 300,000 and I slammed them every day. I had, I was calling Trump a pet of all. I was calling all the Australian uh, politicians pet of all's. I outed everybody in Hollywood and YouTube doesn't like that. And that's why I did it. People are thinking, oh, what are you doing? You're going to lose your channel. Oh, your channel. I'm going to lose. <coughs> um, you suck. Channel. No, thank you very much. Watch what's going to happen with Rumble in the jungle. That's right, baby. Oh, yeah. It's going down. So, yeah, so everyone can find you on Rumble at what username? I think it's, I think it's all Mr. Astro Theology. Let's, let's just check. No, it's, it's Santos.Bonacci on Rumble and then Mr. Astro Theology elsewhere. Jeez, you know what? I think I should change that. Up, up to you, bro. Up to you. We still got time, though. You know, no worries. Let's change it. Yeah. I, want, I want Mr. Astro Theology. Mr. Astro Theology. All right, cool. Yeah. Make that happen, then. We'll make that happen today. Right. Um, well, anything else, bro? Anything else on your mind? Um, to purify no. fire is to purify the baptism of fire is to purify age of Aquarius, knowing contrary to believing. Oh, look, well, I did have one thought. Um, what was the other guy's name? George. Yeah, George, he said that he's got a high metabolism. Well, he's, um, what's his sign? Sagittarius. Yeah, okay. So, fire signs are the leanest. Water signs are the fattest people. Oh, shit. Mm. oh yeah. Pisceans. <laughs> Pisceans, the Pisceans are like whales. The, f the fire isn't as lit up. It, within, I get it. Okay. Now, Sorry. now this won't be. This won't be. Remember, you don't take one thing in isolation. If that, if that fire person, if there's an Aries and he's fat, and you think, ah, oh, well, there you go. That contradicts astrology. There's a fat <laughs> Aryan. Well, he may happen to have a Cancer rising and a Pisces moon, mm. because oh. they they contribute in their many, 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 many ways. But all things being equal. Water are the fattest. Um, air is second. Earth is third. And then some people put Earth is as second. Some have air, but fire are the leanest. They have the highest, me the fastest metabolism. It's fire. It's Chinese, you know, fire and hot and, and cold. It's, it's, that's all it is. It's, it's the humors. 
There's hot, cold, wet and dry. Four humans. <clears throat> We're active into a passive. So, so for instance, the humors of, of Jupiter are the two good ones. The active hot and the passive moist. Wow. Hot and moisture is what happens when plants grow. Saturn, he has the opposite humors. He has actively, he has cold and passively, he has dry. Now, if you're going to grow a garden in winter without watering it and it's freezing, that's no. Saturn. No, yeah, yeah, right. It's Saturn, right? Yeah. So the Chinese, they test your pulse. They only have three humors. They have Vata, Pitta, and Katha. Um, whereas the full system is, is the four in tropical astrology. There's the two actives, fire and water, and the two passives, air and earth. So, so it's all about the humors in, in the individual and which organs have what humors some people might have a lot of um you know hot and moist livers others mm. might have uh, others might have dry and cold livers you know like alcoholics mm. so and and you'll see that in the chart you'll see if if jupiter or sagittarius or taurus is in detriment or their rulers it, people will have the humors of the condition of that sign so you know how to treat that sign. You know how to treat their livers. You know, you can tell in astrology, your liver's hot and moist. You've got to dry it up a bit. Or you've got to wet it with wet foods. And the Chinese guys are the experts in that. They look at your tongue and then they can tell. We were talking about this the other day, Santos. Um, you know, different societies being ruled by different planets. Who would you say that the Chinese you know, operate their society by planet wise. Mars. Mars. Martial arts. Martial. Mm. Yeah, the, the Japanese are Libran. Um, Japanese are about harmony. Um, and Libra is harmony, balance. <clears throat> Venus, they're very Venusian. They're very loving. They're very patient. Whereas the, the Chinese have got a, a very <coughs> active much, much, much more active um, in terms of... Explosive, yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah, you know, like they do martial arts and things. They're very, very, very into, um, you know, big action stuff, you know. Um, and uh, it won't always be the one, it won't always be the one sign either. It, you know, there'll always be, there'll always be, um, a blend, but predominantly. Can't hear you, bro. I don't know why it's uh... um, a. So Christianity is Jupiterian and solar. Um, <clears throat> Say that one more time, please. Uh, you you broke up. Christianity is what? Jupiterian and solar. Okay, how? Well, it's Sunday. The Sunday worshippers. Okay. And, and Jupiter Zeus, Jesus. Mm, okay. um, I'm the Jews. Well, Jesus is Jupiter, you're saying? <clears throat> you're saying Jesus is Jupiter? Yeah, Jupiter Zeus was his... Jupiter was his Roman name. When the Romans took over, they inherited Zeus. Everyone worshipped Zeus, Zeus, Jesus. Jesus. Even here in Mexico, Jesus. Right? So, so the Romans... The name was Jupiter, but what they did was they called it, they compromised at the start, Jupiter Zeus. But mm. then the Romans got lazy and they just said Zeus, Zeus. Mm. So, so Jesus' followers are Jupiterian. Christians ultimately are Saturnian, Christ, Kronos, and the sun with his corona. So there's always a blend. Always. Always. Yeah. But you can tell. I mean, the Buddhists, they're all Mercury. Hermes, Buddha. It's the same word. Thoth, Hermes, Buddha, Mercury. So what are the Buddhists? Well, Mercury. It's, it's, 
<coughs> it's so simple. Um, How would you say that they're Mercurian? Would you say that their meditation is Mercurian, Mercurial? Yeah, they're preachers. They they, they travel and preach. You know, they um, that's Mercury. Sure. Uh, the, the Hindus are, are very very martial. The is, Islamists are um, lunar. Yeah. And Saturn with the black cube, like the Jews. The Jews and the the, the Muslims are very 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 similar. Saturn moon. Saturn moon. I've heard one guy, and you could comment on this whether or not you agree or not. I've heard one guy say that um, in Islam, the crescent is really Venus. Yes, it is. It is. It's Venus. Okay. Yeah, really? because, because no human in the history of history can see Venus as a full lobe. It's always, always, always always a crescent and that's how powerful venus is because it's it's the third brightest thing in the sky second to the moon and the sun it's brighter than jupiter it's brighter than jupiter because it's the, it's the only thing that can cast a shadow at night other than the sun and the moon there's only three things that can cast. you walk under venus when Venus is, you know, 60 degrees up and it's, it's a, there's no moon around, it's very, very dark, Venus will cast a shadow. And, and, it's, and yet it's only a crescent. It's only, a, you, we only ever get to see a crescent of Venus. You never, ever will see the whole Venus, ever, ever, ever. Those NASA photos, they're all, um, they're, they're, they're what I call NASA farts. <laughs> NASA likes to fart and idiots likes to smell their farts. Oh, God, the idiots at NASA. They literally try to tell us that Uranus smells like farts. Fuck, guys. If you don't put it together that, that Uranus, okay, your anus smells like farts. This is, this is NASA. They're, they're toying with you. They really think you're stupid. They really think that you cannot think for yourself. And that you're just going to continue to listen to whatever they say because you pay your taxes to them and they control you. <laughs> they, think that, they think that they can just tell us that Uranus literally smells like farts. Okay, we got four requests on here now. Um, Santos is sparking up the good old cane oil. We love it. No, no. <clears throat> this is pure, pure organic tobacco. When you have oh, okay. a, I haven't smoked tobacco for uh, eight months. I, I smoke tobacco for three months every year, just to build up my nicotine and my immune system. This is tobacco, pure tobacco. Here, I always got DMT and cannabis. I don't smoke it like that. So, why am I doing this while I've got a sore throat? People think, oh, it's gonna, it's gonna, tobacco is bad for you. No, the sh the, the chemical tobacco is bad for you <laughs> hello deep thinkers but not clear thinkers mm. tobacco is a medicine when you get sick get some always have papers organic papers and always have artesian tobacco from mexico organic right you don't you don't smoke it every day but if you get something like this get on this because everybody that, that's got this thing they've been in bed for months there are people that are losing money losing their jobs mine it's mine's over i had my three days flat in bed now i'm bang ready to to rule the world <laughs> love it bro love it thanks for sharing that's awesome yeah you know peace pipe that's what the ancestors used to have they used to have real tobacco that's what it was. Um, yeah. I'm going to accept Burroughs real quick. Michael Burroughs, brother, he also got a transformation from you. Mario was going to come on. Haven't got a hold of him. Just going to have uh, Burroughs come on here real quick, share what his favorite is about, and then we can just call it a wrap, bro. Okay? All right, Michael, I just accepted your request. Um... 
just invited you as well. Oh, oh, oh. Mario, if you want to get on, bro, right after Michael, go ahead, bro. Didn't see you in the chat until literally just now. Michael, hello. you've been on period hello, hello. for about a month or so, dude. Talk yeah, to I'm us. On What's my, your favorite, brother? Uh, I'm on my uh, 24th day today, and I um, haven't felt better in my life, actually, than now. Because, uh, you know, eating the normal American diet, you know, I was having the shits and all that kind of stuff all the time. So, uh, so, so how long have you been following Santos? What did you see? When did you purchase? What's good? Uh, I've been following Santos for about like two years now on uh, YouTube and all that kind of stuff. I uh, just started waking up a few years ago when I heard about all the uh, Jeffrey Epstein stuff and all the trafficking and all the pedophile shit. So, yeah. It just I've been coming down and then I learned that eating meat's bad for you so I was trying to find a new diet and then uh, of course uh, Santos brought up Purium I saw you guys doing a live or whatever and uh, yeah what's your favorite bro what are your results so far how are you feeling what's your favorite product you know I mean all of it I love all of it <laughs> it's okay. so good I expected the shakes because I've tried other stuff before not to be so good, but they're not as, uh, it's not gritty or anything like all the other stuff. It goes down smooth. It's nice tasting. But uh, I've gotten rid of a lot of bloating. Uh, all kind of, like, just my, my shit's actually solid now. <laughs> yeah. Solid, like, solid shit. Yeah. No bloating. Yeah. This is good. Yeah. Uh, and my skin's already clearing up. I had, like, divots in my uh, cheeks here. Those are clearing up. Uh, yeah, every, all in all, I mean, I have ha good hair in general, so, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, 100%. What, what are your results, bro? What, uh, you know, what, um, what's your favorite part about everything so far? Um, uh, it's very easy to do. Uh, straightforward. You can look up all your own information because they have it all over the website and stuff like that brilliant um i just like it all in in general it's it's amazing it really is um hey mario if you're still watching bro and you wanted to join just go ahead and send a request dude we can have you on and share your story now um i didn't see you in the live for a little while so that, that was all but um Michael, thanks so much for hopping on, bro. Tell us, how old are you, dude? I'm 28. Okay. Now, yeah. based on your first 24 days of Perium, you know, and how you're feeling so far, would you say that you might be consuming Perium for a while, or what are you thinking? I'm and doing it for the rest. What are you thinking? Rest, rest of my life. I already made my uh, another order. I'm already. I'm going all in. I have to. I, ever since I started waking up, I go. I go all in with everything. You know, and uh, you guys speak the truth. So I followed Santos, and now I got Purium in my life. And because I went from, I wouldn't eat vegetables. Like that was I would grew up as a kid eating mac and cheese. You know, spaghetti, spaghetti and sauce, all the. So, and I was never forced to uh, try anything different by my, uh, by my grandparents or anything like that. So. Uh, yeah, it, it really helps out transition from eating all these starchy, high, you know, they got such strong taste, like over your taste buds or whatever. And uh, my cravings, my cravings have gone away tremendously. I can actually resist not eating that shit. Yep. Amazing. Touch on that, please. What cravings were you having before? And now how are you resisting them? Uh, just like... Go and buy chocolate in the store or something. Yeah. Like, you, you just want that, like, uh, your body's telling you you want, like, sugar or whatever. And so, like, I don't even, I get that a little bit now, like, right now, but, like, I can just be like, nah, I'm good. Like, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. It's, it's feeling good. You have willpower within. Yeah. yeah. It, <laughs> it's helped my mood tremendously. I'm able to change my mood. Like, my kids don't piss me off as easy. Hey. Like, it's crazy. Hey. <laughs> That's awesome. So you're not as irritable. Yeah. This is yeah. the thing. We got so many pissed off parents who just have IBS. Yeah, I would wake up, you know, with the evil eye. You know, yeah. I, you know, yeah. just 
just fucking so that the quality of food you eat is equal to the quality of life you live right so baby dave sandoval says that all day santos you were gonna say something real quick bro or it looked like it i was (laughs) all good i'll remember (laughs) no worries we're bouncing around but yeah from going from somebody that wouldn't eat vegetables at all and then trying this out is amazing Perky Pegasus, if you are irritated a lot, this this username Perky Pegasus, someone who is irritated a lot, anyone who's irritated a lot, guys, if you get easily irritated and agitated and annoyed, this is your gut telling you that you have a, a bacterial imbalance, okay? So what you need to do is get rid of this bad bacterial imbalance and get yourself back to a homeostasis state within your gut. Then you will not be so irritable because your gut controls your emotions and your mood. And so when your gut is controlling these things, you know, you, you got to be able to be, uh, you, you got to nourish your gut. You got to build your, your foundation on the rock, not on sand. Because currently, when friction is running into you, it's going straight through the sand and right into who you are, contrary to bouncing off of the rock. But if you have your, a good gut bacteria, right, a solid gut bacteria, no IBS, no SIBO, no openings in your gut, literally, you're not going to be so irritated all the time. So you want to address the parasites. You want to address the bad bacteria. You want to address your gut health. Guys, what Santos was saying earlier, or or what George was saying earlier, this is a normalcy for other countries to cleanse every six months, every year. Our our ancestors used to do this all the time. Go ahead, Santos. Yeah, I've got the thought back. Um, So... What we are doing is empowering ourselves. How? Okay. Well, I always used to say growing up, my five favorite delicious things are chocolate, beer. I mean, I love beer. Coffee. Um, Okay. Anyway, that's enough. Uh, There's there's a few other things. Chocolate, beer, coffee, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. (laughs) But you know what? I, the last coffee I had was um, with Crystal and Nick years ago in Puerto Morelos. The last beer, oh no, I did have an artesian, I've had some artesian beer here. Um, but I don't drink it. Chocolate, don't buy it. I'm not interested. I don't have any freaking cravings. I'm the boss, not my parasites. Yeah. I'm the boss. Nothing controls me. Nothing. Not even tobacco. Once I finish this pack of tobacco, that's it. I'm done for a year. And and I'll know when to start smoking again because I'll, you can tell. You can tell what smoke, t- tobacco does for you if you smoke it for a month. It builds you up. It just it makes you iron like. It's it's, it's uh, makes you, gives you virility. It's just the sexiest thing you could. But you don't do it all the time. Mapacho, yep. Father Smoke. Mother Earth is Pachamama, Father Smoke is Mapacho. Yeah, and it's good for fire signs as well, you know, it's, um, yeah. We, uh, fire signs, the people, you know how some people, um, they, sm- they smoke weed and, 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 and they get lazy? Yeah, you'll find that those are water and earth people. Yeah. Right? right? I'm Earth, it doesn't make me lazy. Yeah, okay, you might have something else in the chart going on. Remember, maybe, don't, yeah. Yeah, so let's not take anything in isolation. All things being equal, fire signs handle cannabis better than anyone else. Period. <clears throat> yeah, I'm a, I'm a Virgo. I'm, I'm, my birthday is 9995, all nines. Love yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so what happens generally, the work, Virgos are known as the hardest workers. <laughs> yep, they so, always work hard. So Mercury Mercury <laughs> kind of tips off that, but you get a Taurian with Venus and the Moon, they get fucking lazy when they sleep. <laughs> um, but you get an Aries next to them and they'll go out and build a house. Hell but yeah. Every time I smoke weed, I get billions of syncretisms and I get the house cleaned and I freaking do everything, catch up on everything. 
Yeah. It, it, it really is. You, you really got to be in your element. Guys, there's certain things that you are naturally gifted at in this life. Why? Because you're in your element. What Santos is breaking down to us right now is how certain people can handle cannabis and smoke better because they're literally in their element. We are in our element. The, the elements, the mind of L. Um, air people, especially Gemini's, need to be very, very careful with cannabis. My daughter's name's Eliana. Yeah. Love that. L, yeah, L, L. <laughs> well, why do you say that, Don Santos? Because it's mental. They, they go, they, they go, they panic. They get paranoid. Mm. That's your air signs, especially Gemini, the tricky Mercury. Yeah. It makes See, I think that's something that um, um, I, I can kind of get away with that here with myself because I have Mercury in Virgo, you know, that tricky Mercury. But, but Mercury, if I, didn't, if I didn't have the Leo sun, I wouldn't be grounded enough in, in my fire, grounded in fire, <laughs> uh, to be able to handle it. If I had Gemini somewhere else, I don't think I'd be able to handle it. No. Nope. Well, I've, I've handled um, cannabis because I'm a user of it. I'm not an abuser. And I've always said, syncretism came to me via vegetarianism and cannabis, period. 100%. Cannabis is number one for me. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> hey, Burroughs, but, uh, thank you so much for hopping on, bro. Just so you know, Burroughs, I'm not trying to kick you off or anything, dude. Yeah, but yeah. for Mario to be able to hop on, we need a spot open. So if you don't Oh, do I got to get on, out? Yeah, if you don't mind, yeah, thank you so much for hopping on, though, dude. We'll send you this video. We'll post it. Everything. How do I get off of here? Do I? You just oh, oh, there, yeah, you go. there you go. Yep. Nice. You just X out and then um, maybe just close Instagram completely, bro, and then reopen it. All right. All right. Thank you, Mar uh, uh, Michael. So, all right, guys, that was Michael Burrows. We're gonna have one more guest on here who's been in, who's in Santos's team who's Love Imperium, uh, Mario Kulkasi, whenever he requests. What's his name, Kulkasi? Kulkasi, yeah. You know Mario. Kul or Ka? Kul, Kulkasi, C-U-L-C-A-S-I. Ah. Okay, I was just thinking of the Italian com composer, Kulkasi. I used to play some of his um, guitar pieces. Kulkasi. Oh, okay. From nice. the 17th century, Vivaldi. Carcassi, Giuliani, all these great guitarists used to play a lot of them. <clears throat> Just accepted your request, Mario. Awesome, Mario. We got you here, bro. Hello, Finally hello. figured it out. Welcome, brother. Hey, how are you doing? Great, brother. Yes, Santos, I'm Sicilian. Also from Italy. Calabria, just over the road. Bro. Wrong Italian blood. Yeah, yeah, good one. Nice. Thank you Garouf. for having me here. Yeah, bro. Thank you so much for hopping on. Thanks for uh, taking it some time. It was interrupted right now. I couldn't hear it. Sorry, bro. I said, Caruso. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So, talk nice. to Mario. You received your package yesterday, bro. What are you yes, enjoying? Yes, we're already so on it. We're having all of the products here. I love them. We already tried the first time now, and it feels very great because, uh, especially because my body is already completely clean, so I feel instantly the effects of that product, and it's this huge, uh, uh, how it is um, pushing me extremely. It even uh, opened uh, my third eye during the night extremely strong. So only because of taking all of that supplements yesterday, it was already a huge uh, push. So I'm very like excited about to take that now more often than every single day to really see then what happens and how it is uh, transforming me. But I already can say that this, uh, already in the first time to take these products is already making a huge difference and it is really helping boosting the whole entire system of the body. So now, Mario, I'm extremely you happy about that. that. You had been vegan, that you've been vegan for years, and that you just mentioned as well your system was pretty clean, right? So, yes. so comparing, you know, the Perium Superfoods to just your previous lifestyle, normal vegan, how does it compare adding Perium on top of 
what you were having before? Um, it is just a much more easier, much more faster uh, way to take all of the different nutritions in that our body needs. Uh, I have already developed for myself that um, uh, important knowledge and wisdom that we only need to give our body all what it needs to can then do it all for us. So we are not the healer of our body. Our body heals by its own, but we must give him all of the nutritions to can do that. And because in, in modern times, the most uh, common uh, disease is uh, nutrition deficiency, mm. I would say. Absolutely. So because of that lack of nutrition, uh, we are all uh, getting ill. Our body cannot heal uh, properly how it is actually meant to be or how it can. And yes, this is what Purium does for us. So Purium uh, supplies us with all of the important nutrition that our body and system really needs to can do all of its work. And uh, that is then the wonder, what we call a whole, the wonder healing. It is no wonder healing. It is just giving our body all what it needs to can do that. Mm. And this is the big difference. So instead of that, I'm going outside, I'm looking for all of the foods and sources and nutrition and here and there and everywhere, spread it around. I have it all in one compact uh, version now in the supplements from Purium. And um, yes, I can count on, on the sources behind of that, that they are clean, that they are free from toxins and all of that and that they are not producing the slimes in my body, but really like flushing the slimes out of my system, which is also mm. extremely important um, key to, to get uh, for the healing of the body. Because when the system is blocks, uh, blocked up by all of the slimes that we produce in there, because of the toxic environment around us already, uh, then our body can also not heal fully. So the, um, the supplements from Purium they help me or they help us, all of us, to get uh, all of the slimes, all of the toxins out of the body. And um, this is also first important uh, key. And we cannot, um, we cannot deny that because already the whole air around us on the planet is, is toxic. And we breathe in like, we, uh, I have seen a study where um, it was shown that we are breathing in seven thousand liters of air every single day so that is the most uh, consumption that we do what we breathe in all the moment long it is seven thousand liters of toxic poisoned air wow. so already because of that we must support our body every single day in the detox in all of that to balance that out we cannot say like oh we are all healthy the the nature is pure that's not anymore the fact so we already are in the responsibility to uh, care for that by our own. And we can only do that by the superfoods and by the supplements and all of the nutrition and greens, which are helping us in that uh, cleansing process. So there are more important keys uh, to, to fully get, to, to really realize why it is so important. And then to lose that fear of spending money for something that doesn't serve us. The money doesn't count anymore. Our health is priceless, okay? We can fully expand our lifespan, our health span, the quality of our moment, how we enjoy our mood, our now state of being, our ex whole experience, we can level up with that by being healthy and clean and then not being um, in a bad mood because we don't feel well within our body or how our, our body system is blocked up. And this is Would what you say that the uh, body was, was in a bad place and this caused you to have a bad mood, Mario? Uh, again, please repeat that. I wasn't. Sometimes listening. would you have a bad mood just because your body was in a bad place? Absolutely. It is then because you have the toxins and the gases and all of that acidity in the body. It affects your brain nerves. It affects your psyche. Absolutely. The more clear you are internally in your body, the more you clear are outside. It goes together. It is one, it is not separately from each other. And same goes from the other direction. When we clear our mind and we are calm, our body cells also become clear and calm. So it is fully connected. So with the nutrition, with the foods, with the healthy diet, we can fully improve all of our mood, our mind as well, as same as our body. And in the end, it connects in our heart. So we increase our lifespan with that. Love it. Love it. You're dropping some wisdom here, Mario. Mario, how can everyone follow you? Um, everywhere. Uh, also here in the Instagram, on the YouTube, but more important is right now to follow my wife, 
because with her together, um, I'm uh, working with the Purium and uh, with you guys together. Brilliant. And before, uh, more important than this, um, do you have the time right now, three minutes to shortly um, uh, share my story also, um, how, why it is actually the most important for me personally to be here and to sure. support you? So, thank you. So this is a very deep uh, story that I actually never shared before. So this is right now the first time to really share that with the world. And it is extremely most important. I also had the huge uh, fears and um, it was not easy for me to share that and bring that to light. Because uh, we got also fighted by the system for that, what we do. And I'm already also fighting for our health for a long time and I was looking for something like Purium. Okay, and now I can fully complete my circle and can make it complete and can show why it is the most important for all of us to care for that nutrition and to have such a um, product source as Purium. So in, in my life and in the life of my family, our dad had the cancer. He had the brain tumor and in 2003, uh, he, from one to the next second, he fully passed out. He came, went into the coma state for eight months. He was in the hospital. And after that, um, so this is 20 years from now ago. This is also why it has uh, transformed me or why it has uh, pushed me so much to become healthy, to care for the vegan diet, uh, for the nutrition intake and all of that. Because the system or the doctors, they were then saying to us, okay, he has a maximum three to five months longer to live. We keep him here in the clinic until he dies. We're just giving him the medicaments that he needs and that's it. So there was no um, fate in him or any positive um, attitude towards uh, his healing or to support him to, to expand his lifespan and to heal him with that. So they were giving up on him fully. So this is how the system works. The system is not interested in us to become healthy, to heal our diseases. The system wants us sick to can give us the medicaments and to make us addicted to them and then to die. So they keep us maybe at that 1% level of health to keep us that little bit alive, to only take the medicaments, to make the money with us and then to let us die. So this we couldn't take. Me, uh, my family was then making the decision, no, we don't go for that, we don't believe that, it cannot be that we give up on our own dad, and we take him at home, and we make it own by our own self, to care for him the last time that he has on earth, we care for him. So what happened is, we took him home. We were then ch looking for alternative healing methods. Where were we then coming to? To the nutrition supplements. So we were then realizing, oh, our body needs that and that nutrition for healing the brain, for healing the cancer, for healing that and that. And his brain, he had the hardest uh, state of cancer. He couldn't move anymore. And also the area in his brain for the speaking, for the language was blocked up totally. He couldn't speak, couldn't move, nothing. So we really, it was intensive care 24 seven, all moment long. This, after we supplied him every single day and I was doing that, I was the one then making the shake with the grass powder of the wheatgrass, with the hemp floor, putting the vitamin drops in that, putting hemp seeds in that, chia seeds, mixing all of them and every single day giving him that shake. So what happened? He survived for 15 more years, for 15 wow. more years until 2018, yes. He survived, he was lying there, he was feeling great, slowly could move better. He was not talking, but he could make the sounds to, to communicate with us. And I have a two little um, uh, siblings, which were in the age of one and a half and three years at this time. So he could see his children growing up, that they are good. He could see all of that, he could be with us. And the only thing what we were doing differently than the state was, to make every single day that shake with the full nutrition of all of that what the body needs. And now the last thing that I really want to share, it is the full truth. It was a wonder. His brain started to build new neurons and bloodlines outside of the skull around to connect the areas because he got the nutrition to can do that. So 
Yes, it was a wonder. It was never seen before. So this is how he could survive. Yes. And then he had uh, extreme bleedings like four to five um, times a year where he passed out for a short, uh, for a few days and went into the hospital. And they always said he doesn't survive that. So we always thought like, okay, he dies now. And then he survived that by a wonder because his body had the nutrition to can do that. So he survived four to five bleedings every single year for 15 years and came always back home. And we, of course, we got a psychosis because we never knew, is he now dying or is he now living? But in the end, we realized that we were the, the key for him to survive by giving him that nutritional intake. And then we also started to um, uh, give him vegan, uh, vegetarian diet. And this is how he could make it. So from a three to five months of maximum living by the hardest state of cancer, not moving, not speaking, nothing, he survived another 15 years and only because of that reason to give him all of the nutrition. And now my um, journey ends here with the Purium, where I have all of that nutrition exactly in the same way of how we did it. And now I can we can share that with the world and we can show how important that is. And we will share that story and we will make that clear for all of us. And that's not about money or business or anything, but about the real health and that we are happy in life and that we can enjoy our wonderful life experience, especially for our with our tight ones and our family members together, because they need us healthy. When we are sick and ill, they must care for us all the time. They worrying about us all the time. It is not our responsibility just for our own to be healthy, but also for our family to be healthy. So that our mom must not care for us, that our child must not care for us. Okay, and this is what we are doing here. This is why we're having that uh, tribe on. This is why we are with Purium. I love and it, bro. Really so much behind. sharing, Mario. Why is always, 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 always much more important than how? And because your why was strong enough, you went and figured out the how. That's amazing. Yes. You gave the gift of life because health yes. is wealth to somebody who Absolutely. had that threatened from them. Uh, threatened to them to have taken from them uh, earlier and you you extended their life that's amazing Mario I really relate with that story because actually my mom passed away when I was 12 years old to brain cancer Whoa. had I known the things that I know now of course I would have been recommending everything that I knew to her at 12 at 10 I had a dream about her passing away when I was nine years old had I known these things that I knew now mm -hmm. Or had I known these things now that I knew then, you know, uh, I, you know, life would be different. But yes. we go through everything for a reason. My mom yes. transitioned at that time for a reason. You were able to extend this man's life for a reason. You know, we're all here right now for a reason. For those of you who are watching right now, you're watching right now probably because you have something similar going on in your life. Yes. You know someone who needs this. You need it for a reason. It's all divine timing. <laughs> Everything is an aligned, everything is aligned. The stars yeah. have aligned this moment right here, right now for a reason. Mario, thank you so much for sharing that, bro. Um, thank you. It's amazing to know now that you can use something like the power shake and not have to mix everything else yourself all day, every day. <laughs> um, amazing that you can just share it with love and, and freedom, brother. So glad that you get to share the gift of health and experience it, my friend. Is there anything else you wanted to share? Um, about this one, I can just add, this is, uh, I know it is a simple uh, product, but in my journey, I also then uh, have uh, uh, realized that we need all of these essential amino acids that our body cannot build by his own. So we must supplement or take them in through the foods, but the foods outside, they not having much nutrition anymore because they are fake. They are not real from our mother nature. So to have all of the amino acids that our body needs, it's a huge difference. And for example, the, the main amino acids that methionine that is in there, okay, that's the start base um, amino acids where our proteins, the amino acid chains are built up then to create all of the structures in the body. So the start amino acid, methionine, the most important, we must take a 20 gram or more of um, sunflower seeds and oats and all of that to get like the half of it that we wow. need of a daily intake. So with that here, we're just having all of that what we need. 
So this is how important it is and how it is making it more easier for us to really get the full amount that we need for a day from all of the nutrition that our body cannot even build by its own, but that we anyways need from the outside to take in. So this is why I say like it is, there are so many more reasons here and um, importance behind all of, this, all of these products. And we are just starting to begin to tune into these products and to develop them or to discover them and to bring them to light. I feel like important. you're going to really put on some gains with those aminos, Mario. Those aminos are amazing, dude. You heard George. George takes 22 a day, mixes them with his dark wow. berry protein. Yeah, George, George added 15 pounds of muscle in two weeks, bro. Wow. It's amazing. George has an incredible story. Um, thanks so much for hopping on, Mario. Thank Guys, you so much. We've Deeply been on here for two hours now total. Santos, anything else that you want to yeah. share, brother? What's on your heart, Santos? Not really. Um, I just want the people to understand that um, th through this beautiful company, that the, the, the guy's a genius. I mean, he's absolutely a heaven sent. Um, you, you're, you're going to um, not only improve your health, you're going to improve your wealth because they share the wealth with you. Doesn't that make sense to you guys? If you, if you regularly go to Joe's Pizza, right, is, is he going to, and you bring people there, is he going to give you a tip for bringing, you know, six tablefuls of people there? No. If you buy Nike sneakers and you, and, and you go to the Nike store and say, I've got 10 friends who want the same Nikes, how about a cut? No. And these are greedy, greedy corporations. Mm. Purium is sharing it with the world. And that's how you get free. Remember the ACDC song that I quoted before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I ain't going <clears> to... <throat> well, I'll finish with this. <laughs> well, you, can stick, you can stick your nine to five living. Thank you, Bon Scott. I've never had a nine to fiver. And your collar and tie. And you can stick your moral standards because it's all a dirty lie. Oh. And you can stick your golden handshake. And you can stick your silly rules. And all the other shit that you teach the kids in school. Because <laughs> I am cool. And remember Bon Scott's twinkle in his eyes like... Because <laughs> he lived free, man. He said... I came, I didn't come here to, um, live to, um, uh, he didn't come here to be a slave. No, 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 no. He, he, he's famous for having said, I didn't okay. come here to live long. I came here to live, you know, to the Pretty. full. Yeah. He said, I'm not here for, for a long time. I'm here for a good time. That's it. That's All what right. he said. That's what he said. And he died, of course, in 1980. All right, guys. Thanks so much for sharing, Santos. Thanks for so much for sharing, Mario. Everyone who uh, watched, really appreciate your time. Anyone who wants to buy, Santos's link is pinned at the bottom. iShopPerium.com, code Syncretism. To buy the Ultimate Lifestyle Transformation, you guys can get Mario's code from him and or Sylvia's code from them. Same thing with George. Guys, really appreciate your time. Thank you, everyone. Peace.